What's going on, YouTube? I'm back bringing you guys another banger of video. Thank you guys so much, by the way. If you hit the thumbs up button, I'd appreciate it a ton. Just want to say thank you once again. It means so much. It really helps out the channel. If you guys smash that like button, trying to get as many likes as possible. You guys are the real MVPs, those of you who hit that like button. Here we are, another game on Verdance. I'm using a new skin today, a Domino skin. She is an operator that I haven't used before in a video, that is. This is the first time. Sliding through here with Dead Silence, seeing what it is, taking out. Easy kill there. That guy sounds like he's going to cry. Hopefully, he's okay. Running through here with Dead Silence, still activated. Sneaking up behind this guy. Remember that kill for later. I, I think I killed that guy again in the exact same place. And look at this. Already got five kills. Haven't even left Salt Mine yet. Easy clap. One of the most important things about getting high kill games in Warzone, if you guys don't know, is a strong start. For example, if you guys don't start strong, look at this guy trying to melee me. If you guys don't start strong in Warzone, you probably are not going to have an amazing match. Now, don't get me wrong, for a normal player, for a player that isn't trying to set a personal best, it probably doesn't matter. But if you are trying to set your personal record, see, I think that's the second time I killed that guy. I'm not sure I have to look at his name, but it's the in the exact same place and it's the same skin. But like I was saying, if you don't start strong, you probably aren't going to set your personal record. Starting strong like this, I think I already have, what, six kills or so? It's imperative. If you guys want to set a super, super high kill game, you got to start strong. Always got to pop off that ground loot, get a team wipe early on, and then obviously pop off from there for the rest of the duration of the game. This guy, I was worried. He seemed to know what he was doing. He was positioning well. But you know who I am? I don't know if you guys know from my previous video, but you know, they call me the brain remover. Look at that red mist ejecting from his skull. That's an easy clap there. Luckily, this guy did not third party. He was just creeping up here when I ran up here. He could have killed us both probably, but he runs away. And I think it's apparent there why he didn't try in third party. He doesn't look that uh that competent, if you will. Running over here, fast forwarding all the way to military base, running real, real fast. This guy was kind of sus. You see in the vehicle top left on the map, it kind of seemed like he knew that I was coming and he was waiting for me to run down that road so he could run me over in his vehicle. I pop dead silence. I rush him on high ground. He tries to run away, but you guys know when I got the twist in my hand and it solos, no one's getting away. I knock him here. I still have a lot of ground to cover before I can thirst him. Luckily I have dead silence, so I get there just in time to kill him. And he had dead silence too, which would have sucked if he would have revived, pop dead silence. I wouldn't have been able to hear him. You know, he would have, he would have known that I was coming. This would have been terrible. This guy running in the field, don't know what he's doing. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't played FPS, for as many years as I have, never run away from a sniper like that. That guy's running in a, like away from me, not in a straight line, but always run left to right. Don't ever run straight away. This guy's dead sounds has no idea what's about to happen to him. I went for the animation there. He turned around with the shotgun. That was kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to die. Very unlikely though. Here, this guy, he took good position, good position on high ground. That's why I opened with the cluster strike here. He had really good position on me, so I forced him out of that good positioning. That was a no rag, 100%. Taking out the cold Rika here. Easy clap, cleaning up. That guy also could have killed me. He's probably a good player. Really important that you kill the other good players in the lobby. When you meet them, always got to stay on your toes. Popping a UAV here. This guy. Beautiful. Red mist ejecting all over. All over the side of that building. One of the things I love is a head nice sniper headshot. This guy jumped off the bridge here. I don't know if he didn't see me or he tried to run from me, but he jumped from the bridge. Knocking him there, taking my time, lining up the headshot, and there it is. Brain removed. We're running over onto the fire station here. There's one, one dot on my heartbeat, but I was sort of curious. The way this guy was positioned, it was like he thought someone was in there behind this door. So I run through this door aggressive as I, as I can be, and there's no one here. I go up top and there's no one around. I check the gas for people rotating late. And there's a guy here. One shot down. Taking our time. Lining up the next shot. One shot for the thirst. Brain removed. We're going up here to get dead silence. And we spot a bystander. Red mist everywhere. I don't know if that guy's like bird watching or what he's doing. I, I don't know. We're playing a different game, I think. This guy is as well. I think he's like a photographer. Maybe he's trying to get close to nature. Not sure what that man is doing. Someone's got to tell him that this is a war zone. That guy would not peek for like four minutes straight. And as you can see, the circle rotated towards me on this bridge. 
Red Mist, once again. Brain removed. Easy clap. I have a trophy system on my Bertha, and I have a Bertha for cover, and I have a self revive, and the circle is where I am. And we're making every shot count. This is looking like a win. It's looking great. And the circle actually rotates off the bridge. Somehow the guy beneath me lives. Now, I was thinking if I drop down, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to pop my parachute. And if I pop my parachute, he's going to hear it. Then he's going to shoot me. So I wait and I wait. He doesn't show. So I do what any logical person would do. And I hop in the Bertha. And then I just yeet myself off this bridge down to the final circle. If he has C4s, if he has mines down there, I die. That's game. But, you know, you got to risk it in this world. Now, I knew I was going to win right here when he started shooting. And he kept shooting. And he wouldn't stop shooting. It just told me that he wasn't very good because he hadn't done very much damage. And then I run him over. Easy clap. He quits out out of rage. And we got the Warzone victory epic battle royale. Poggers moment. Thank you guys so much for watching.